Welcome back to the Valley Eric Yacht Show live streaming. We are enjoying the afternoon. The weather is not perfect, but you know what? It is ideal for me. I am a happy camper, so. <laughs> the show is going really well, though. Everyone is having a lot of fun. Those that have their feet on the ground are saying it's been very successful so far. Um, and I think for one of the first shows that really is heading out in 2021, um, you couldn't have asked for anything better, for sure. Listen, I've got a great new guest with me right now, Tony Dahlberg. He does have a last name, but everybody knows him as Tony Dahlberg. He is the technical director uh, of Dahlberg. Tell us all about your company. Well, we, we are one of the oldest companies here in the island doing uh, electronics in the beginning. That was in 1984 when we became uh, a public um, company. Since then, we have been developing new new uh, brands into the into the company, and right now we have four division, four main division. One is electronics, another one is comfort, another one is uh, sanitation, and the fourth one is safety. We are working with uh, uh, electronic companies such as Furuno, Sinrad, Brooks and Gay House, Train and Train, Sailor, and things like that. Also, we have the representation of the uh, safety equipment is an Spanish made called Duarri. We are the only company allowed to do that in the island. We also do uh, maintenance and uh, radio surveys for uh, super yachts, doing flag report for Cayman Islands, Malta, the United States, UK, and basically this is more or less a, a a brief, a brief introduction of our company. I can explain hours and hours and hours telling what we are doing, but basically this is what we are normally doing. When you talk about the electronic side of things, um, is it like sound systems? Is it also, you know, how you run the boat? I mean, because everything is electronic nowadays. What, to what extent is the well, electronic? Electronics uh, is more on the navigation area. We are focused on radars, navigation system, GPS, sounders. Uh, also, we do entertainment, sound, uh, IT. We also do internet, telecommunications, satellite communications, and uh, chart plotting, integration of different systems, which is now the key to have everything, talking to everything at the same time without any problem. The, the, we, we have become an ex, uh, a company that we have developed a lot of uh, networks together with manufacturers, giving ideas of what we, the, the customers need, uh, and I think we, we managed to make a, a, a package for the boat where we integrate everything. And when you talk about sanitation, what, what exactly does that entail? Well, sanitation, we have three brands that we deal with. Main one is Dometic, this one is, uh, used to be named Sealand, that become, comes from the uh, United States, now belongs to a holding group, it's a Swedish group called Dometic. Then we have another French company called Sunny Marine. Sunny Marine is producing uh, toilets, uh, sump pumps, holding tanks, uh, bilge pump, or not bilge, but the great water tanks, yeah. and the treatment for that, that system. And also we have another one, which is a third one we have recently introduced is um, Tecma, that we are dealing also with right now. Well, one of the things that really struck me about you and what I always sort of am naturally attracted to is this is a family company. It's not sort of a corporation and it's a family company that has grown over the years. Now, were you formed in Mallorca? Yeah, well, the, the history of the company started in 1961 when my father-in-law, which is the father of my wife, came to the island uh, due to a storm. He was the captain of a boat, and he was the first one seeing the potential of, of the waters of, Ma of Mallorca. And he started the first company doing uh, judge repair. We are talking judge repair at the time in 1961. Electronic didn't exist, yeah. so it was more mechanical, more hardware. With the time, we joined the company. I myself joined the company in 1984, and I studied electronics. And we start to grow the company, expand the company. We join more and more people. Right now we are 12 employees, including ourselves in, in the company. And we have, as I said, is one family company 
we treat them. I think all the employees, are, they feel like belongs to a family. We have one name, one team, um, four brands right or four divisions right now, but our idea is to span as much as we can, if we can deal with that. Always thinking that we have to provide the customer the best service and the best result. So our goal is always to get the sati full satisfaction of the customer. This is our goal. Well, let me ask you, I mean, the time that you have been with a company, I can imagine you have seen like so many changes because even in the past five years, the amount of changes that you've seen in the auditing industry, I mean, even the world. You know, I remember that the internet was just, and we're not even dating myself here, don't even go there. Um, but I remember when I was first born, the internet didn't exist. Um, so I can imagine that in your time working, you have seen magical things, you know, things that you never, ever would have imagined happen well, within the I, industry. I can tell you that uh, in the very, very beginning, an autopilot was just uh, a lamp with uh, two cellular uh, cells telling the pilot to go one direction or another direction on a compass car. That was the autopilot, go that direction, <laughs> go that direction. That was an autopilot. And it was with a not rechargeable battery. You have to load a few hundred, not hundred, but tenth batteries just to make sure that your autopilot is not gonna die. So replace the battery and keep going. Just an example, the boat we are now here is considered to be a, large, a big, a normal boat, I would say, 30 meters, 35 meters is a standard boat right now. In my age, when we started in 1984, a 24-meter boat was a very, very big boat. Today, 24 meters is a normal boat. Sailing boat has been increasing. You can get 100 meters, 120 meters, and this is good. I have seen growing, the t uh, and also the technology has changed so much. Yeah. Well, let me ask you, I mean, what were the type of things that you were installing on yachts before the internet? And then what approximate year was it that you first did your first installation of internet? Well, my first installation was an autopilot. It was, uh, the name of the company was Nico, Norman, Norman Electronic Company, uh, electric company that was based in the, U in the UK. This company doesn't exist anymore. And that was a huge autopilot, the, the control unit was about that big, with a big rotary knob just to set the course setter, and that was the first installation we made. And that was amazing for us because imagine at that time to have something helping you to keep the boat on course without you attending the wheel all the time. That was a real, real relief for the, for the captain or for the crew. On long passages, an autopilot is essential. Yeah. And today, if you don't have one, you have two, or you have maybe three. But on, that, on those days, to have an autopilot was a, a real, real luxury. It was not many people could afford to have a pilot at that time. It was really expensive and a very, very sophisticated piece of equipment. Well, and when it comes to communication, because I remember when um, the first mobile phone came in. My father, um, he owned a logging company, and the first, very first mobile phone, it was like a box about this big. It was a wallet. <laughs> I know, and you had to carry it. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah so you had like a handle, I you had, had the, yeah. Them, and then it, it was like the traditional telephone um, handle that you would have had on a landline. Exactly. Um, but everybody was a gag over that. That was amazing. What was the first sort of communication that you installed on a yacht? Well, we did, we did a, a mini M or even before the Mini-M, uh, it's a satellite constellation made by Inmarsat. They have a full satellite constellation uh, around the globe. And we, we had, at the first time, we had the possibility to communicate with a telephone over, over the sky. So if you were in the States and you want to call Europe at sea, you were able to do that. The cost was extremely, extremely high. And, and that was something that it was stunning but for that time. And it, it was funny that how people found that this must be some kind of magic on, on <laughs> this one because how can I, because at that time not even satellite communication on Earth was so, so easy because I'm talking about probably around 1995, something like that. So the satellite communication is not like today. So you just, I got 600 megabytes of broadband yeah. in, my, in my cell phone, 5G's, 
4G on board, you have satellite communication. Those, those times when you were on board were, were absolutely isolated. And I think in one way, this is what it has changed the, the or it has improved the, uh, the amount of people sailing and navigating because before it was an adventure leaving the dock and going somewhere 200 miles away yeah. or 300 miles away, you didn't have any position fixed system, you didn't have any communication system a part of your VHF. And today, you got everything on board. You can have your mobile office on board. You can continue working, having some nice weather, lovely girls or lovely <laughs> boys around you, taking some drinks and continue with your normal life but enjoying your boat. And this is what I think it has improved. The, the technology has made that the possibility of owners to enjoy the boat longer than before. Because I used to have a time that people use the boat only one month a year because yeah. they have to continue working. Then they have to be isolated from the rest of the world, but completely isolated, not communicated at all. When we start with the communication, then it was a big, big window. Oh, right, now I can use my boat longer. That was a good, a good, good step forward. Well, as we see things are moving so quickly now, what do you think the next step is for a company like yours? I, I mean, I imagine that you're always learning and you're always pushing forward and you're always pushing boundaries and making sure that you know what is coming up next in the industry and, and making sure you're prepared for it. What do you see happening in the next few years? Well, the, uh, I think we are going in the, the direction I said before. People are looking for to have all the facilities you have at home to have it on a boat and then you will be totally uh, communicated when you are at, on board. Satellite communication is still very expensive, but soon they will start to, to increase the satellite constellation and the communication cost will be lower. And more and more people will be able, or can af will afford to get the, uh, the connectivity, which is now the, the key. You need to be connected. You are running your business even when you are on holiday. So to, this is the key, communication. Once that you are communicated, and then you are enjoying the boat, they taking your beer, taking your gin tonic, whatever, and then you 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 still using your uh, uh, running your business. Well, you guys have a stand at the virtual yes, Balearic Yacht, so um, definitely head on over there and check it out. Um, and you know what, I commend you. I. I always find it really, really fascinating um, to speak to people that have been in the industry for quite some time because it's good to know, you know, it's good to know what things used to be like and what things are now. And in that short period of time, because realistically, you and I both know that was a very short period of time. When we look at the next period of time, the same amount of time, I, I mean, I don't know. there is no way we could imagine where it's going to be. I don't, I have no idea. I don't, I don't want to think about what is going to be in the next uh, 10 years. Imagine 30 years, no, 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 I can't imagine. Right now, technology is moving so fast, yeah. so fast, that you, you cannot say what is gonna happen tomorrow. Someone will invent something tomorrow or the day after, and it will be another one improving that one and improving that one. 4G was magic 10 years ago. Now it's 5G, and we are five times faster than before on internet with our normal cell phones. So that is gonna happen. What, where is the limit? No one knows, I, not myself. I, I cannot tell you what, it, what it is going to be the limit for the uh, communication or what it will be the limit of integration on a boat. You can have a smart boat. This is the idea that everything is integrated because if you look at the bridge right now on any boat, you will see different brands, different type of a screen. The idea is to have a central system where everything is integrated, radar, autopilot, satellite television, satellite communication, everything, and then you have just one single touch screen. Radar, satellite, television, back to radar. This is the idea, to have integration. Amazing. Well, you know what? Check back in the space in about, I'd say, two years' time, and I'm sure there's going to be something new that you're well, doing. Well, if we have the chance, I'll be pleased to be back here. <laughs> I'll be pleased. I'll be Pleased to be back here, yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much again for your time. As I said, they do have a stand at the virtual. So anywhere in the world, if you're interested in what they have to offer, check it out. Dahlberg. Um, once and also, if I, if I just uh, yeah. mention that we also are in the Balearic Yacht Show virtual. So if they want to see what we are doing in the virtual yacht show, they can also have the, uh, the opportunity to see what we, 
who we are, what we do, and what we can do for them. And you can also make an appointment to have a chat. So guess what, guys? We are going to end this now, but we are coming back to you very, very shortly. Uh, once again, it is a little bit drizzly here in Palma at the moment, but I'm sure, as per typical Mallorca, it will clear up in a bit, I'm sure. Um, we'll see you soon. My name is Ria. I'm your host, and you're listening to the live streaming for the Balearic Yacht Show.